I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but we're going to look at some job posts and I'm going to teach you guys how to learn if the job post is good or bad. I thought this was a meme. Someone posted in Discord. I was like, no way, this is fake. It's actually real. Just type in volunteer HR intern UPS and you'll find this job post. UPS is the world's leading supply chain organization with an annual revenue of $49.7 billion. And then down here, we're looking for a volunteer. So the first sentence, they flex about how much money they make per year. And in the second paragraph, they say, oh, by the way, we're looking for people who don't want any of it. We are looking for a volunteer intern to join our HR team. Are you a switched on, driven individual who would like to put your theoretical HR knowledge to practice in a large international company? Then we might be just what you're looking for. What you'll get out of it, receive a reference from us and a great company name on your resume. What a slap in the face. 50 billion. Hey, but you won't work for free, fam. Like, receive a reference from us. What you think about that? One to two days a week. What you think? Here's one front end developer synergy Westport, Connecticut. It's remote, but it's not actually remote. They're doing the old bait and switch. This position may initially be remote with anticipation that it will be made full time in the office at our Westport location come summer or fall. What's it like working for synergy? We're a dynamic and rewarding company to work for. All right, before you go on, let's define rewarding. Let's, let's look at that compensation. <gasps> 38,000 to 44,000 a year. That is garbage. Well, what if it's a cheap area to live in, Josh? Well, I checked. I opened up Glassdoor and I looked at other front-end developer salaries in this area. The average pay is 80,000. So, you know, we have another one here, 74, 73, 91, 73. We can pretty much conclude that this company is drastically underpaying compared to the market in this location for this job title. I did a little bit more research on this company. I went to their website to see what it's all about and they have their cool video background which they should know is trash because it still plays on mobile. You're not supposed to play videos on a mobile site because people have limited bandwidth and meta name generator content wix.com website builder. So maybe this is why they're hiring a front end developer. Uh, I actually downloaded their videos. It starts off right with the corporate cringe. They have chief happiness officer okay wow cool synergy technology yeah whoa, whoa wow such a cool logo i mean not really oh what's this guy doing got his little paper boy hat on it's pretty standard cubicle like why do you need to be here to do this like 100 percent. this dude's job is on both of these monitors right here he doesn't need to be there to do his job oh wow look at that the the swoop transition oh wow they masked it out cool dude watch one peter mckinnon video what do we got mm. Okay, got the triple monitor set up 100% when you go to the interview, they're going to brag about, yeah, we give you three monitors to work with here. Huh? Huh? Look at that. This isn't a selling point. It's like this dude just got a gimbal. And he's like, all right, let me fly through the office, fam. I mean, honestly, if they're paying you to do Wix, 38,000 to 44,000 makes more sense. But if they're truly looking for like a front end developer that's building stuff from scratch, that's just not worth it. Front end engineer, junior level. We come down, we read the description. It's basically just a bunch of buzzwords that doesn't actually say what you'll be doing. Write reliable web services deployed using containers on Kubernetes. This is the only thing in there that has any definition of the technical things you'll be doing at this job. This says front end engineer junior level. However, the requirements are three plus years experience building front end applications. Junior level does not start off with three plus years of experience. Junior web dev, entry web dev, it's all the same thing. Zero years experience to get in. Before we continue, if you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and click like. Junior web developer, WebFX, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. WebFX developers typically work on 25 plus projects per year, so there is a high level of variety in work, and two days are never the same. This could be good or bad. They are a client-based company, and if they ever run out of clients, you won't have a job anymore. Training, any good job will train you to learn how to do the job provided that you do know the basic fundamentals. Our bootcamp web marketing training program will be provided for new WebFX family members. So there's a red flag right here. Family members eh, can probably bet there's some big corporate cringe here because Family members, on-site state-of-the-art training amenities to facilitate departmental trainings for web dev. Like you just, a computer, here's a MacBook, here's a table, 
Follow along. What you'll get, WebFX grew 250% over the past three years. I and mean, that sounds nice and all. Your salary is not going to grow 250% over three years. You can guarantee that. Merit-based promotional opportunities are abundant for new family members. There's, there's two red flags. It's the second time they've said new family members. Compensation is 47K to 52K. This is pretty decent, I think. Um, most junior web devs should be getting somewhere around $50,000 if you're in the United States. This is excluding big cities like New York. City, San Francisco, or high cost of living areas. Seattle is one. GPA, add up to 3K to the high range. Um, I think this is a little lame, discriminating on someone's GPA. You should be able to just give them a code test and see how well they can do that code test, not how well they did at a college, right? Different colleges have different professors. Different professors give out different difficulty of tasks. It just really depends on how you went through college. If you took all the easy professors and got good grades, you're going to be rewarded for that like you were a harder worker. Now, this just isn't a very fair metric to, to use, so that could indicate some unfair practices going further into the company. Elite college or university and graduation with high honors. Add another 3.5K to 5K to the high range. Yeah, this exists. People discriminate based on what school you went to. Um, but the problem here is that who gets to decide what the elite college is. What if you went to a college that you think is elite, but the dude hiring for this position doesn't think that's an elite college? Here's another one, Junior PHP Laravel Developer. If you're looking for an unprecedented opportunity to learn, grow, and develop yourself in a skill set while also having fun, flexible, fast-paced work environment, these are all buzzwords, kind of red flags, honestly. Flexible work environment doesn't usually mean that it's flexible in the favor of, of you, the worker. It means flexible in how they want to do things. Fast-paced work environment. It sounds like you'll never get bored, but what that really means is management doesn't really know what they're doing and they don't know how to prioritize projects that you'll be working on. You'll be working directly with technical founders to manage the deployment of our API. This could be good. Uh, it's good to have that transparency. Benefits, fully paid health premiums, funded HSA, free snacks and drinks in our office, paid holidays and vacations, paid for equipment. If you work a job that requires you to come to an office, at least in software, and they want you to bring your own equipment, that's a red flag. Pay up to $75,000 a year. Year. Uh, here's a problem up to $75,000 a year starting is what that means but what they don't say is the minimum that they're starting you at so what if you don't get the up to 75 what, what are they gonna start you at $15,000 a year 20,000 30,000 we don't know one thing is for sure is that you're going to have to apply to this job and potentially waste your time to figure out what they're gonna start you at schedule eight-hour shift Monday to Friday on call so you can pretty much just throw eight-hour shift and Monday to Friday out the window anyways guys if you enjoyed this video do me a favor click the thumbs up click subscribe if you want to see more exposing corporate garbage jobs learning how to read between the lines let me know what you think if you'd like to support the channel i have some links down in the description otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one